All right, y'all, today is a real special day because it's the day that I had my firstborn, Zanique. It's her birthday. So Zanique and I are working on a new podcast. It's a mother and daughter podcast, which I feel like it's, it's cool. It's needed. You know, we come from two different sides. If y'all already heard, she's already said I was never around. Um, but the truth of the matter is, you know, I've had my flaws and uh, we are best friends. Even though the podcast is not ready, I had to get on here so I could talk to y'all about all the current topics that's going on with me, my group Escape, and SWV. You know, if you guys don't know, we have a show that's called The Queens of R&B. It is on Bravo on Sunday night. So if you haven't checked it out, make sure you tune in. But I just feel like it's necessary for me to just, you know, try to enlighten you on how it actually works. You say, okay, well, they sold all these records, and you guys are, you sold these many records. Okay, well, right off top, I want to give my girl Mona Scott, you know, for coming up with, you know, she's always got her creative ideas and, you know, look for the next big thing. And she came up with, um... SWV and Escape joining forces to do a TV show after our verses that went very well. The verses was the first kickoff of just feeling like there's something more here for Escape and SWV. And although me and all my girls were reluctant to do a show, period, you know, for me, I can speak on me, I was reluctant of doing a show with um, SWV just because. I feel like we've always had a great rapport and we've never really worked together back in the 90s like that. So it was always a pass and go. And it's always been a very respectful kind. Everything has always been on the up and up. And I did not want to ruin that. I felt like, you know, us coming together as two powerful R&B groups, you know, trying to do something that's never been done before was going to cause some friction. At some point, I, I already knew that going into it. And that's why I honestly didn't want to just do the show. Personally, for me, I have always had a fun love, a fond love for um, for Lily. She has just always been my favorite. And Taj, back in the day, me and Candy was working with Taj, writing for her. You know, work, she was working on a solo project, and we were working with her. So we've had a connection with Taj too. And Taj, to me, she's a a beautiful spirit. She's very um, outgoing and uplifting, and just you know, she's got a great spirit. Coco, on the other hand, I don't really know as much, but I've never had any issues or any, like, you know, thing that I could say, oh, I don't like about her. I don't know her well enough to say anything bad about her. Um, I don't know her as much as I know every, the other two girls. So, um, but, you know, if you ask me how I feel about her, I think she's cool. Yeah, my money. Nobody steal your money, It came down to having so much drama within our own group that we cannot get past anything to kind of focus in on a real tour. And so that became a problem within itself that we were dealing with. It took a lot of time away from what we had to focus on is trying to put a tour together. Here's where I think the confliction started with the, I guess you say like headlining and you know, you know, co-headlining or whatever. Let me say, we've never felt like we were better than SWB because we would never say that. These girls are freaking legends. They have major hits. If nothing else, I, 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 I bought these flowers here because I want to make sure I give SWB their flowers because there's no disrespect here when it comes to how we feel about SWB and their legacy. She's definitely treating us like she's glad it's night and we the pimp. Her husband is always in our business. Go grab the microphone and remind them of who the hell you are. 
now. Sisters is acting up. You know they stole my money. Ain't nobody stole you. Know they did. The current status of my group, Escape, is if you've watched episode between one and three, you'll see that we are not all on the same page. Tasha, she came in and she was like, look, I'm not really excited about going on tour. And I think, honestly, the real reason why she wasn't excited about going on tour, yes, it was because we have our issues at the same time. Tasha was not willing to split a bill, the bill. Me and her were having conversations before we even did the show or decided to do the show that we didn't feel like it was in our best interest to split a bill with uh, just because we felt like, you know, it hasn't been done. That's not any disrespect to anyone. My feelings on Tasha going solo is I ain't never had no feelings on her going solo. I heard her do like a gospel song and I called her and I was like, Yo, Tasha, you need to do this every Sunday. Like, this, you know, it's inspiring. People, it's uplifting. And she was like, you think so? You know, and later on, I mean, nothing really transpired from it. But, like, you know, I'm I'm all for her doing her gospel thing. I've been behind her, you know, 100%. But I feel like the way, I guess, things are, I guess, brought to us, it feels like another episode of back in the 90s when we were, like, in 98 and she wanted to go solo it was kind of like i guess the timing for it it was like we're at a high we're here and now you're gone again it was doable to be able to do both i never want to stop anybody from saying oh you can't go do solo because we're we're doing group things like yes but as long as you make yourself available as much as you can for escape like don't just Forget about us because you got this going on. You know, everybody deserves to have that moment where they want to branch off and do something for themselves that maybe it's just about them. That is not the issue. The issue is that when you come in the foursome of us, we want to feel like it's a unit. But other than that, me and Tasha have always been the closest. I just felt like, you know, her coming in not being... Um, not wanting to talk and not wanting to work things out with the group. I guess the excuse was that her and her sister wasn't getting along. From what I understand, her sister had already tried to apologize several times. She says she hasn't, but they're both singing two different songs. However, we're, we want to talk about business and we want to be able to move forward. We don't want to come in and we feel like you like don't want to be here. If you come in a room with us and you are giving us the I here because I have to be here, but I really don't want to be here. We don't want that energy around us. And that was part of the problem that we had dealing with Tasha. For the sisters, I feel like what they're going through is that it is a family um, situation. And, um, you know, I do feel like me and Candy are family. Um, but at the same time, I feel like it's something that they need to work on internally. Um, I don't know what it'll take. I feel like maybe if they got canceling, and I've been screaming canceling for a while now, and I think that, you know, I don't know if Tamika's tried or whatever. I don't, you know, um, it's really not my business to speak on. We want to still have top billing on our tour. We ain't gonna be no sidekick. When Candy brought up the subject matter of top billing, I was a little like, oh my God, like I just really wanted to hide because I already know I feel, I, I'm, I'm with her, but like, I know these girls going to be tripping. Are we ready to see SWB in escape tonight? I think that the way the show was uh, sold to them and the way that, you know, they wanted to make this show and they wanted to make it like, oh, you guys are um, going to co-headline because you guys, you know, this is the same level. And with that... There are, when you're a headliner and you're going in with the, with the promoter and the headliner, that headliner has business to handle. So that means that headliner, uh, their money is on the line as well. There are a lot of fees and things that have to be paid for. And when you have a back end, when you have a headline show, your show got to look like the headliner. So I want to address, you know, why, you know, people are all jumping on my sister Candy because she ain't like, oh, you talking about one city, you want a headline in one city, whatever it is. If we got to split everything down the middle, give everything that our show is going to have, that your show is going to have, 
then we need to pay half the bill. Every, it needs to be split down the middle. And if you don't want to do that, then we shouldn't have to be forced to share it in that. SFV has had five albums, two of them, which is platinum. We've had three albums, and all of them are platinum. You know, if you're a viewer, you won't understand why we may say what we say. You know, it may come off to be like, oh, they, they think they better. Y'all are like, who the hell escape that they is? They got three, they got two, three songs. That's all we know. And that's what y'all was saying. The verses goes down. The girls brought it. We brought it. I mean, we went hit at the hit. Better the better. It was a great verses. I have nothing to say about it. All positive. A lot of stuff, y'all yeah, didn't even really know. I kept it away, mm -hmm. which is what I felt like a mother should do. When we broke up in 1998, it was a pretty tough time. I would drive around New York City all night until about 5.30 in the morning, and um, I would go to sleep in Yankee Stadium parking lot. It was rough. Yeah, I'm not surprised to hear about Lily's hardship because a lot of artists in the industry you know you feel like they are just so rich and they're making this amount of so much money like back in the 90s i don't know about them but back in the 90s like we made money but that money was going to everything you know what i'm saying and you got to pay for this you got to pay for that you got so much shit that they you know right up on the thing by the time you get your money you be like what i've been working all year for this shit so i mean i'm not surprised because you know a lot of this 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 industry makes it look like you are living this way when really you're not so you know we've all had to you know rebuild our money it was a time you know when i shit before i broke no scrub i ain't went broke and you know neatly talking about i went there she don't know what i was going through to get this money you know what i'm saying but that's another story let me tell you something candy she was always like, I gotta make, I gotta do something, I gotta do something. I mean, the group, the group was talking about breaking up this day, next day. She was like, what are we gonna do? I'm like, Kenny, you just gotta check. Like, we cool, like, calm down, like, let's figure it out. She was going crazy. Like, Candy has always been, like, very, um, I know my check came in yesterday, but what about tomorrow? And she just wanted to make sure she had funds and she had other things on the table for her to keep it going which is an amazing if as you can see Candy does it all and she's getting that money so um it's an amazing way to think feel and be so i don't know how y'all want to slice it like i said there's never been any disrespect to swb we love them girls we love everything we love Everything about them, everything that they brought to the industry, they make timeless music. We can't take that away from them. We would never even try. Also, I, you know, I've seen a couple um, comments talking about, oh, the girls, the escape girls need to worry about they uh, having four members. You know, they got their priorities in the wrong place. It doesn't matter if it's three or four. We're still headlining. And I guess as the episodes go on, you guys will see more of that. So I'll be back to talk about, you know, the new things that you're going to see in four or five and six. Because it gets crazier. And you may be able to understand a little more. You may not. But I'll be here to clear it up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell, baby. It's worth it. We've been having one to call it quits It ain't the same to play this game if you ain't who I'm with Like, alright, okay I'ma give it one more day I'ma try one more time Maybe you should just stay Like, alright, okay Maybe you should just stay I'ma try one more time Give it about one more day